Hey guys, what's up? This is uh, Mr. Hunk Hans and Rachel here. Hi. This is Sex Star of Singapore. We are obviously by the Marina Bay Sands. Woo. And we are talking about a big or a small topic, depending on <laughs> you are. We're talking about size, does it matter? And by size, we mean penis size, we mean dicks, we mean cocks. Yes. We're talking about. The one thing girls love talking about and the one thing guys hate girls talking about. Yeah, they gossip about it, right? Oh my goodness, don't we just? Do you? Uh, yeah. Do you really? Yeah. That's terrible. Oh my God, we do. I don't oh, know. we do. In fact, this sounds really awful, but actually after a session, like say you've come home or your friends come home from one night stand and yeah, you would say, what was this dick like? <laughs> and, they'll t- and we'll tell you. <laughs> That's um, funny. So yeah, we do. All right, yep. so, so let's let's get into uh, like why. So so dicks, mm-hmm. girls, preoccupation. Why why do you think about it so much? What happens if a guy's dick is small, and what happens if a guy's dick is big? So let's start with small. Hmm, if a guy's dick a is smaller than you would, would like, yeah, or expect, what what is that like? You know, what's what's the sex like? Oh well, it's such a disappointment. Uh-huh. Sorry, I'm just being honest. It's kind of like, ugh. Is it like psychological? It, uh, because. I don't know. You know it's or is it, uh, is it you can't have an orgasm or what? No, uh, no, you can because I did date a guy for a while who had a small penis. Yeah. And there certainly was, but I mean, surface area and you know friction from that part is what works for me. But um, yeah, it's just uh, <laughs> uh, mm, so it, it sounds like part of it is uh, like psychological, I th- right? Yeah. It's, like, oh, it's just this little baby dick. Yeah. What's that gonna do for me? Uh huh. Um, and especially when you. I don't know, like, I just, oh, I feel sorry and I shouldn't make it and I guess, oh, no, it's... No, just, you can say whatever you want, it's like, say, it, say how you actually feel. So I remember uh, I went back there, uh, maybe like 10 years later, and um, yeah, we slept together again and I was like, I totally forgot how small your penis was. <laughs> and that was a disappointment. Yeah, I mean... And you know what, do you know what, if we were sober, it probably would be totally fine. But also, when you're drunk... It's not helping either party, is it? So I probably shouldn't be so fair, so unfair about it. What do you mean? Like, well, when you're drunk, you can't always get it as hard and you're not doing the right thing. It's just not, it's not working for anyone really. Okay. So like if if skill is involved, you're saying that when you're drunk, you might not be able to exercise your skills as well as you could if you were sober. Yeah, I think so. I think a small penis when you're sober and you're in the mood and you're into that person is totally fine. All right. I got you. I got you. So, um. But what is small? Yeah, uh, let's, everyone is different. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Like, mm-hmm. what are the actual sizes? Yep. Um, but let's talk about like if a guy is too big. Like, what is that like? Because I knew a girl who uh, yeah. the very first guy she had sex with was this uh, African guy, like straight up Ooh. African guy. Wow. And he had a huge dick, and basically, Oops. like, he had to <laughs> we're crossing the road here. He had to um, like take his hand and wrap it around like the base of his cock when they would have sex. Because because oh, uh, it went in too far. Oh, of if he didn't, it, yeah, that, yeah, that was like basically to protect her from going in too deep, because otherwise it would just hurt her. Oh wow! So oh, that I mean, poor thing. For her, that sucks. For the guy, yeah. you know, I mean, that sucks. sounds like a shitty position, yep. and you can't really like thrust properly. Mm-hmm. So yeah, uh, too big is also not good. This is very true. Have you been with a guy who's too big? Um, I wouldn't say it was too big. It, it was too. It hurt. It was like that ain't going in here. Yeah. Mm-mm. <laughs> but, but um, part but, of it is, but like part of it is, as you get turned on, your like vagina basically gets bigger. Yeah, exactly. Right? Your vagina like, expands, expands two to three yeah. times. Yeah. So I mean, eventually it did. But at first, when I saw, I was like, Ugh. but also yeah. huge penises on the flop don't get that much bigger. So what I thought was going to be That's too true. big, because I that thought, oh true. my god, that is going to, <gasps> oh my god, um, wasn't that much bigger in the end. Um, it's just big. But again, big wide, big long. So me and the girls, yeah. one time one of the girls came back and she was like, so had an interesting penis. And we're like, what? She goes, I think we call it a chode. What does that mean? And that is when it's pretty much thicker than it is long. Wow. Yeah. So she was like, it was thick. Uh-huh. And we're like, how thick are we talking here? And yeah, she showed and we're like, that's pretty thick. And I was like, so, how big is it? She goes, hmm. you know, Wait, it was like a couple of inches. Let, let's let's see, let's see the hand. It was like, just like, hmm. that's but like, it was like, that's like an inch yeah. and a half. Yeah, it was. Actually, that was a good tune, but it was yeah. She was like, hmm, yeah. Right, so, so she was very shocked by it, and hadn't seen that before, and was kind of like, hmm. Yep. So so to, to sort of 
skip ahead and like answer the question does mm -hmm. size matter it does definitely you know? and it doesn't matter if it's small big or in, yeah yeah you're totally um, rocking if you're in between yeah there's there's different ways that you can uh maximize what you've got mm -hmm. you know like use it to your your best advantage but definitely like size is it's, it's important and it matters um yeah. girth, girth matters the length matters and some other things will uh we'll talk about matter but it does matter so just yeah. like accept that and then work with what you got and don't like feel like a victim or whatever you know yeah don't because if you've got a small one but you know how to use it totally fine as well because you know it's it all comes down to confidence it doesn't matter what size you are you need to know how to use it properly yeah and that's the most important thing so if you've got a big one you know you need that lubricant yep just be smart and always have it with you it's like condoms always going to have it with you all right next so, part Averages. So, mm -hmm. what's the average dick size? I spent a lot of time thinking about this when I was younger. <laughs> well, you just gotta Google it, um, or we'll just tell you, and then uh, pull out a, you know, tape measure and figure yeah. out where you where you are. Because a lot of guys feel super insecure mm -hmm. about their dick size, right? And uh, you don't have to. You don't have to feel that way, especially if you're somewhere in the middle. You could spend years thinking that you're small, and, and you're you, and you're perfect. You pull it out, and you're like, oh, I'm actually average. No big deal, right? So these are. Oh, the dude. numbers and this is broken down by race because there are yes. racial differences there are like i said the african guy <laughs> africans are way uh on, on the larger size so their average would be about let's say like under seven inches in length mm -hmm. this is not girth because girth is a little bit more complicated yep. to yep. measure i think because like a guy's dick will be uh like thinner or thicker at different parts of the uh the shaft, shaft. right so anyway length is easier about seven inches for a black guy that's average mm -hmm. if you look at the chart it looks like a bell curve basically right so some guys will be like way off on like a 12 inch dicks some black guys will have like a three inch dick right yeah um but most of them are around seven so then the next largest race that i have here is caucasian mm -hmm. and that comes out at like maybe six six and a bit like 6.2 so you like feel that. a little bit chuffed right now second one down second one down yeah not black but you know doing <laughs> that's right. okay you we've, we've heard how much the black story isn't great yep and then asians are smaller mm -hmm. and that is here let me get the number right it is about 5.4 inches i think that's so, being generous yeah i mean it's it's the bell curve so some guys yeah. like some some asian guys are going to have like a 10 inch you know dick right but wow. most are going to be in the five ish five ish range not quite a six inch sub if that's what you got, you know, just, <laughs> just know that you're normal. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. To be honest, I don't think I've ever measured a guy's penis before, um, at all. Don't you measure I, with, like, your hands? Isn't there a... I heard that between your thumb and your index finger, that's the size that your penis would be. So, actually, us girls, because we were talking about it. What do you mean? Like so, like, between here, so my thumb and my index finger, so my thumb's out, like, I've got, like, an L shape, like, loser sign, and then from the tip of my finger to there, that's how big my penis would be if I was a boy. Yeah, that's not true. So, that's what me and the girls did, and I had the smallest penis. Not true. <laughs> it's not true. Because I had the smallest hands. Yeah, that's not true. Hand size and foot size and everything has no correlation to uh, penis size. Are you sure? Because I really feel that it does. No. Because no. I've seen... Uh, do you know what? Oh, I don't know. Because my boyfriend has humongous feet. Like, his feet are friggin' massive. But his penis is, is normal. It's a good size. It's not too small. It's not like it's going to scare... It's not scary. It's That's perfect. what I'm saying. It's perfect. He's got huge feet. That's what I'm saying. The whole hands, foot thing. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I should look at his hands, actually. I've never noticed if they're huge or not. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, so we talked about... Uh, what happens if it's too big or too small we talked mm -hmm. about what are the averages so you actually mm -hmm. know like where you are on this bell curve right so now it seems like being between five and six is good yeah now we're going to talk about the uh, third part which is the other factors that you can work with mm -hmm. you know if you've got a small dick or if you you know are just you have a normal dick and you want to use it better you can have penis extenders Ugh, okay we'll talk about that <laughs> um versus girth so girth is important a lot of times girth is more important for a girl because uh, a girl gets that that filled up feeling mm -hmm. where if a guy's dick is like just long and skinny it mm -hmm. might just be like a pokey kind of like yeah. just poking the girl no, in the back exactly you know? and it might just be hitting spots that you don't really want it to hit and it's just not yeah it's not fulfilling enough yeah other thing being hard so some guys for like psychological issues for mm -hmm. physical issues whatever um they don't get very erect right so you might have like a really great sized dick and everything but if it's not erect what are you going to do with it right? ah. so that's actually 
you know, you want to have that going down. Yeah. Um, so if you got a smaller size dick, but it's hard versus a... Mm -hmm. Huge dick, but not so. Right, what are you going to... I've definitely had one of those before. Go with the hard one. Yeah, I've had one who was, he was big, but he could never get it rock hard. So it's kind of like, uh, yeah. Other God, thing, so mean to men. Other thing is shape. So some guys' dicks are shaped differently. Mm -hmm. um, so just some other stuff I'll list off here. Do you know what? None of them are ever the same. Yeah. Everyone's is different. So different. Right. Oh my gosh, so different. Endurance. You shouldn't be ashamed of it. Endurance is another one. So let's let's say you got Does a, size define endurance? I just can't imagine it would. No, I mean these are these are other factors that oh, are okay. that are actually more under your control. Okay. You know, you can actually work on your endurance. There's very little you can do to work on your dick size. So endurance is something, you know, even if you had like the perfect dick. Yeah. If you come after one second, like who cares? Yes, it's very true. Right? Uh, rhythm, you know, like are you sort of the, the dancer type? Are you hitting the right spots and mm -hmm. sort of, you know, mixing it up? Are you hitting with the right force? Yeah. Right? Like do you have some uh, some core strength and stuff like that? Uh, yeah, so all these other things. There's a lot There's a lot more going on than just dick size, so don't get too preoccupied on it. It's important, <laughs> but there are other factors. So, you know, keep it in perspective. All right, question time. So I got a question from a guy, basically exactly in line and inspired this, uh, this topic, which was, can I make my dick bigger? Um, yes, you can. All right. <laughs> all right. I did more research than you, but okay. go ahead. Okay, well, you probably got some hardcore facts. Um, so things you can buy to make your penis bigger is one, the penis pump, although it doesn't actually help with your erectness, but also there's these extenders that you can put on your penis. So it's okay. kind of like a condom. Wow. And um, it just it just lengthens it a bit. So you just kind it's of like put it on the head. Pump. Yeah. And it just kind of goes in there, just straps on, and it just extends it a bit more. So it has, like, I don't understand. Explain. Yeah, it's, it's kind of hard. I only actually saw it a couple days ago, so it's funny that we're having this conversation. Um, but it kind of just sits on the top of the head, yeah. so it kind of like goes in with the penis head and extends it like by another inch. Oh, uh, okay. So it's just like, it's like an artificial... Yeah, uh, kind of an, an, artificial, an artificial penis head. All so right. yeah, you can. So that's not, that's cheating. Well, <laughs> yeah, but you know what? If, if you've got a small one and your wife or your girlfriend wants a bigger one and the extender works, why not? So if you want to do this naturally and you don't want to use like silicone extensions mm -hmm. or you don't want to use like creams that don't work, the creams don't work, all that kind of stuff, what you can do is lower your body fat percentage. Yeah. So guys have a pad at their lower abdomen of fat. Yes, they're big guts. Yeah. So yeah. get rid of all that shit. Get rid of that and your dick will be bigger. It's not going to make Starve yourself to have a bigger penis. <laughs> do it. Um, another thing you can do is trim your pubes a bit. So you can either, uh, you could actually shape them all the way down right because that may make your dick look a little bit bigger i do remember guys just shaving the top of their like the base of their shaft i remember this now like it was trim but i always remember seeing hair on the shaft i always remember guys have, i remember this yeah if you yeah. watch porn a lot of the yeah. guys are waxed yeah oh god i need to have a good look it's been a while since i've watched some porn yeah. what yeah i know you know i was always a porn lover oh, yeah. i've just stopped for a while okay yeah but you remember i mean like a lot of guys are you know bare down there I need to re-go over it. But anyway, cool. continue. Cool. So lose some weight, shave your pubes. This is going to give you a bigger penis. Yeah, and don't don't get into the uh, the crazy, like, dick stretching, creamy, yeah, it's whatever all bullshit. stuff. You're just going to stretch skin, probably ruin performance, and you're certainly going to do some damage to the glands. Yeah. So avoid anything chemical. Yeah, so keep it simple, lose some weight, yeah. and it'll, you'll actually, like, look better, right? Yeah. All right. Definitely. So let's do our uh, fast facts. Mm -hmm. Fast lead. Fast We're going to do fast them fast First one. Longer dicks may have evolved to deposit sperm deeper in a girl so that uh, you can impregnate her more effectively. Okay. So, so basically, we talked about this in another podcast, but there's a thing called sperm competition that seems to have uh, become a thing in like the ape, the ape family, and okay. in particular with the humans. Mm -hmm. It seems like instead of men fighting each other a lot, yeah. what happened is that over time evolution decided that it's better if the sperm fight with each other right. so, that, so the guys right. can sort of like stay friends mm -hmm. cooperate you can okay. have societies you can walk down the road and you don't like beat each other up wow um, so that the competition happens at the sperm level so what happens is uh, a girl will usually have sex with a lot of guys in uh, so they'd be like hunter-gatherer times uh -huh. in like in succession and then the guy with the best designed dick and best and best sperm will like win out mm -hmm. Wow. So if a guy has a longer dick, he can deposit his sperm 
like really deep, like right next to her cervix, and it has a higher chance of not being sucked out by yep. a guy with a smaller dick. So nice. that might be why uh, they have all the way they did. Yep. Wow. Second one. So this was a study that was done in 2013. Mm -hmm. This was actually Australian girls who were shown uh, images, <laughs> images of guys in silhouette. Oh, the Aussies. Yeah. So, so life-size life images of guys in yeah. silhouette, right? Um, the things that were, it was uh, computer generated. Yeah. So there was like the waist to, or sorry, the hip to shoulder ratio. Yeah. It was one thing they played around with. And they played around with the height. Yeah. And they also played around with the flaccid uh, penis length. Okay. Right? So this wasn't like self-reported data, mm -hmm. but they would actually, you know, it wasn't like, do you like big dicks or not? They would just show women these uh, computer generated images, like multiple ones, and they would uh, ask them to rank uh, if they're attractive or not. And they okay. did, you know, st statistical analysis to figure out what do they actually think. Yeah. So what happened was larger dicks were more attractive, mm -hmm. um, but the body shape was more important. So height was more important. And also the like V shape. If you if a guy has like a large, Dick torso. large shoulders, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was more attractive. But dick size did actually play a part. So yeah. it was important. Last of dick size, important. Last one, guys. Um, are we? I have to remember to check where I'm going. <laughs> Last one is chimpanzees. This is crazy shit. Chimpanzees. Yeah. Actually, have spines on their dicks. No. So that after they impregnate a girl, the next chimpanzee won't come up and like have sex with her because she'll be in so much pain that she won't want to have sex anymore. So they have spines on their dicks. That's crazy, huh? That is awful. It's awful. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's that is evolution. horrific. Evolution is a bitch. I hope we evolve from ape from apes. So I'm really hoping this is not. Supposedly humans used to have spines on their dicks, but then they became smooth as sort of like uh, like okay, so we evolved out of it already. Good right, to know. Right, right, right. <gasps> because like humans are more about cooperating and like social cohesion and stuff like that. That's sort of our thing. That's our magic. That's our secret sauce. I'm feeling so spiny dicks would not make us cooperate very much. Next time I see a female chimpanzee, I'm gonna be really nice to yeah, it. Just give her a hug. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Cool thing. This has been Sex Star of Singapore. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye.